Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it's time for Sunday Sauce, our collective read. So guys, please, try to use the energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself, yeah? Yeah. Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for the gravy. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay your concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Sunday's Sauce. All right, guys, guys energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to have somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, guys, the Godfather table for the gravy. <laughs> Isn't that great? All right, hold on. Let's see what's going on here. Show me what's going on in the gravy today. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Well, well, we have the hangman. Pisces energy. The 12th can be of significance. That reduces to three. This is about pausing. This is about taking a time out to figure things out and see things from different perspectives. Maybe there's things that we need to release and let go of. Perhaps we feel trapped, confined, or uncertain of a direction. We're waiting, okay? We're waiting to figure out what the hell to do in a situation. Could be a sacrifice, but it doesn't have to be. Here you go. Now, ooh, you got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Well, the problem here is that somebody's... Oh, God, I don't like the Queen of Cups in reverse. I gotta be honest. This is somebody that's very uh, insecure, overly sensitive, self-centered, jealous, deceitful, backstabbing, gossipy. It's somebody who's bitter. It's the Queen of Cups in reverse. It could be like a, a nasty-ass mother. It could be. Somebody could be like, you know, on pause trying to figure out what to do with this energy. So if you're dealing with somebody who's irrational and deceitful and just nasty, you know, this is what the problem is. Trying to figure out different ways around this energy. Show me. So we have high Pisces. Now, here we go. We have the nine of pentacles at the foundation of the situation. This is Virgo energy. Virgo energy for some kind of a um, solo pleasure, financial gain. It's luxury. It's self-sufficiency. Nine of pentacles talks about, um, you know, achievement, material security, financial security, being rewarded for all the hard work and effort that you did by yourself at the eight of pentacles. Okay. Let me see. So the ninth could be of significance for September. What's crowning? What's crowning? Crowning you, you have, ooh, the Queen of Wands. Well, I like that. The Queen of Wands is Aries energy, but for you too, you say Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? The Queen of Wands is somebody very confident and passionate and self-assured, vibrant, somebody who's going to, you know, take charge of a situation, somebody who's very creative, someone who's assertive. So someone, who, a, a bold action is about to be taken. Or there's going to be somebody with Aries in their chart. Entering the picture here, so you might have Aries and Pisces, show me, a creative, confident action is going to be taken, I'll tell you that, oh, look at this, a transformation, the app, so, so somebody's going to force some kind of transformation, they're going to make it happen, it's death, okay, uh, the 13th could be of significance, the 31st or 4, which is April, okay, this is about um, a transition, new beginnings, change, okay? Leaving behind what does not serve us anymore and going forward to all our new opportunities, right? Scorpio energy now. I will say also too, in this instance, I do feel like somebody might be passing away, uh, in which case we are sending you our deepest condolences, hug, love, support, all that kind of good stuff, right? Well, look at this. Okay, I take that back. I don't think anybody's passing away. I really don't. Whatever this transformation is, you're going to be celebrating it. Okay, this is going to make somebody very, very happy. Because it's about... Look at this. Then you got the sun. I'm talking... Look, you got the sun in your environment. Leo energy for happiness, okay? Joy, confidence, vitality, growth. Some kind of recovery. And a reason to celebrate. Something can be going on in your friend group. Maybe you have a circle of support around you. Maybe you're going out into the community enjoying yourself. Going to some parties or some celebrations. Whatever this transformation is, you're celebrating it. You're very happy about it. And also, it seems like you have, you know, happiness and joy and positivity in your environment. You have Scorpio and Leo now. What is the best advice? So we have Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, and Leo. Show me what's the, 
Guys, if I'm a little slow this morning, I haven't even had coffee yet. It's like, I just opened my eyes. Oh, God. Okay, so now we have the Eight of Swords. Jesus Christ. Someone's going to be stuck up in their head or worried. Maybe you are. Like, this is spirit advising you not to be. If you feel like you have ruminating thoughts or you're, you know, making up scenarios that don't even exist, and concerns here, you need to stop. This is being stuck in your mind. This is being isolated or trapped or feeling restricted and powerless, victimized. It's like a paralysis, but it's one that you are, you know, making yourself. So get out of it. Stop worrying. Just get in the flow and trust in source and God, whatever you believe in, okay? Show me what, um, this is spirit reminding you that you're probably worried about a bunch of bullshit. Somebody lives in, a, in the city. I see in the city. In 12 buildings. Popping crisp. Somebody could be popping crisp, crystal, champagne. I see glasses clanging. Whatever this transformation is, it's going to give you a reason to celebrate. It's making you very happy. So that's really great. Just, you have to stop worrying. Here we go. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. Some kind of cooperation, some kind of effort, some kind of collaboration. So whatever this is, it's going to turn out really, really well for you because it's going to turn into a situation where you are going to have people that are on your side and working together with you for some kind of an end game. Whatever that end game is, it's going to be different for everybody. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, a warm-hearted, loving, caring, kind person. But somebody is watching somebody. This King of Cups is emotionally mature and responsible and available and very, you know, warm. Yeah, I love the King of Cups. That's daddy. I tell you all the time. Somebody is watching somebody to gossip or, you know, just to find out what the hell is up in somebody's business here. Somebody could be giving somebody some... Oh, why? Because somebody's in the spotlight. Okay, so there's somebody watching somebody that's in the spotlight here. Somebody's trying to do some soul searching. They're going to come in and make an offer. That you can't refuse. Somebody's coming to make an offer that you can't refuse. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo that's, um, yeah. Well, we're going to find out, right? We're going to definitely find out because somebody, all right, because somebody sees you as an empress, whoever you are, all right? Somebody who's stable, somebody who's marriage material. So somebody's in love and they're going to come and make an offer after this transformation. You have the star. The star is everything. It's renewal. It's hope. It's inner clarity. It's miracles. Also being in the spotlight. So this is why somebody... Somebody might be watching here because maybe somebody's doing something on some kind of an online platform where they can see what's going on, okay? Somebody could be giving out some kind of hope and guidance. Like I said, Aquarius energy, the 17th could be of significance. Somebody might even be 71 here. And the 8th uh, is August. So I love it, okay? With the Aquarius energy, you know, this is about having hope for your future and healing. So somebody might want to heal something here. All right, so I gave you all the signs. We're going to keep it short because I'm running late on my videos because i just needed to get some sleep guys i thought i would lay down for 20 minutes i slept for 10 hours what's this got to tell you 10 hours i'm like whoa so i should get up and move mountains today all right so the water signs are coming let's see let's give you a positive affirmation because if we can't do anything else we have to at least have positive affirmations all right it's very important or say things that you're grateful for like i tell you every day right because the attitude of gratitude multiplies exponentially. Give me a positive affirmation for our people with the meatballs today. I love it. So, you know, somebody here might not know what to do with some kind of a uh, twisted energy. It could be, this queen of cups could be like, you know, a nasty mother. It really could. Like, you, you know, some of us have them. I mean, we do. I hate to say it, but um, some kind of a bitter, nasty, jealous, deceitful, backstabbing, gossiping, Witch bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Not another witch bitch. Whether it's a mother or not. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we got witch bitches in the house. All right. Anyway, somebody's going to take some kind of action over this. And whatever this action is, it's going to transform something. And with that transformation, is going to make everybody so fucking happy. Because nobody needs to be dealing with a witch bitch, right? <laughs> Could you imagine this is before coffee? I need to go get my ass on Sumatra right now. I need the Sumatra. I'm like, Jonesy, give me the Sumatra. Today I am brilliant. Today every idea I have is creative, thoughtful, and full of potential. <clears throat> I told my daughter, you know, I said, I said, I mentioned Sumatra on my channel. She almost beat the shit out of me. She's like, stop, don't tell people about the coffee. <laughs> Why not? Like, there's only so much Sumatra in the world. What are these, these people are crazy that I deal with over here. You, only, you should know. Here we go. 
Because I am titanium. Today I am happy. Today happiness and love will fill my heart and soul all day. Yeah, it will because I finally got the fucking sleep I needed. <laughs> Look how I woke up. Happy peppy and bursting with love. Love, love, love. Okay, so one more. And then we're going to let you go. We love you guys. All right. By the way, we're sending you health, love, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. You know that. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're so freaking grateful for your presence. So thank you so much. And have a great day. Today I am in charge. Today I am in control of how I feel. Nobody can make me feel any other way that happy, than happy. That's right. Today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. Like this freaking Queen of Wands is about to. Let's get you some letters. All right. Maybe we can get this up by next Sunday. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Um, right away, I'm getting Connecticut. Something about Connecticut. CN. We got two A's. An I. Somebody. Can, somebody. Okay. Somebody's either gaining weight or losing weight, and they're not. The sizes aren't fitting them anymore. Either that, or when you go to the store to buy clothes. You know, I don't know where they're making them, but it's not the same size like it used to be. It's just not. Like, it, maybe it'll say a size 7, and really it's a size 3 or something like this. Okay, you have two A's and an I. That's it on your vowels. You have C-N-S-S-R-T-T-W-Z. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. Until next time, love, light, and laughter.